Good day folks, Boda Bob here. Well, um, I guess while I was building, blazing my uh, new trail to my wood yard, I uh, punctured one of my front tires. And so I've been thinking about getting some new tires. Um, the tires that were on there were starting to uh, show their wear. And so I could have gone with uh, ag tires like I had on there before, but I have uh, turf tires on the back and I bought a pair of snow chains for my front tires if I should need them. So far I've never needed them, but I have them now that I need them and I decided to uh, put new turf tires on. So I started to mount this tire on this side here that I'm at. I thought of something that I'd like to share with you all. This was shared with me. This information was shared with, to me or given to me years ago. And uh, I thought I'd pass it on. What better way to show appreciation for what other people shared with me years ago than to share it with uh, my audience. Tires are held on to your automobile. They're held on to your tractors and other pieces of equipment that run on pneumatic tires. Um, you have four bolts that keep them secure to the hub. Now, a lot of people might believe that the bolt is what the tire rides on, but it's not actually the way a wheel and a hub work. The truth is the load is bore by the wheel on the hole. So let me show you the hub. So when I speak of the hub, I'm talking about this whole mechanical part of the assembly. And part of the hub, of course, you have your holes for your bolts. Sometimes you'll have studs on uh, tractors and wagons. A lot of the times you'll use bolts, which I'm not a fan of, but there's probably a good reason for this. If you break the bolt, it's probably not as hard to take, um, to repair it. If you have a stud and you break the stud off, then you gotta remove the stud from the uh, hub and it can be a hassle. So maybe that's why they uh, use bolts instead. I don't know the reason. I know uh, Volkswagens, they use bolts to hold their tires on, wheels on, and uh, it's American cars that have studs. In the center of the hub is a raised section with a lip, okay? And that lip fits inside the hole on your wheel. And that lip is what holds the weight of your vehicle. Nuts or bolts hold the wheel tight against that center hub. So that's how it works. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting this thing mounted up. One thing I'd like to mention about using a torque wrench. Um, I know this is a old information for a lot of people is when you torque um, bolts to their prescribed specification, you need to uh, sneak up on the end result. So if you need a hundred foot pounds of torque or 100 pound-feet of torque. I forget which way it goes. I think it's pound-feet. If you need 100 pound-feet of torque to tighten that fastener properly, you don't just set your torque wrench to 100 and go to 100. What you need to do is start at, say, 60, 
then go to 70, then 80, then 90, then 100. And you don't do that on one bolt. You have to follow the torque pattern prescribed by the uh, uh, technical manual on how to uh, torque. So I know most of you know that. That's old information. But a couple other things I want to talk about are prices of stuff. Uh, I drove by the gas station the other day and saw that here in Pennsylvania, in my area, at the Sheets, uh, it's $5.99 a gallon. That's a lot of money for a gallon of diesel. I this is the second pair of tires that I've put on my uh, Kubota BX1850. And uh, the tire shop had my tires in stock before I had ag tires on the front and I switched. And I kept them on because of snow plowing in the winter time. I figured that the uh, uh, ag tires would give additional uh, traction uh, for pushing the snow. I don't know what's going to happen with this. As you all know, I use the uh, Terra, Terra Grip uh, traction device on my tractor when I plow snow. Uh, but I do have a set of chains for the front if I need them. So that's why I figured I would go to the turf tire, be a little easier on my uh, grass. In one inner tube was 28 bucks and one tire was 45 bucks, I wanna say. So it was over um, $125, including tax, to $130. So if you need, I, I don't know what to advise you. I'm just telling you that the price for parts and tires, things like that have gone up dramatically. And uh, so be aware, I got a little bit of sticker shock there when I uh, went to buy these. Uh, I didn't recall them being nowhere near this expensive the last time I bought tires. So, so I'm gonna get on out here, go mow some grass. I'd like to ask all my friends out there to do me a favor, smash that like button, hit subscribe, share this video with a friend. And I wanna thank you all for all of your support over the years. Until next time, enjoy the journey.